Hello, I'm Andrew Urban from my Urban Home team at Keller Williams Realty. We're among the top 5% of local realtors helping clients buy and sell residential and investment property. And today we're at the Naval, we're at the Mare Island Naval Museum uh, on Mare Island in Vallejo. And uh, let's go inside and meet Joyce. And this is actually the the pipe shop, right? Yes, so, this was the pipe shop. And um, when was this built, this building? Any idea? 1855. 1855? Same, that was the original blacksmith shop there, the white building. Wow, okay. 1855. It's the oldest industrial building on the shipyard. Okay, so this was, and the museum was established here in 2000, into this location in 2004. Yes. And prior to that, you had it across the street? We had uh, just a, a temporary um, museum gift shop over by the mansion. Okay. And so the museum contains all kinds of really interesting artifacts, bells and cannons. And um, you were showing us these um, you, crests. These show a lot of the civilian trades. The civilian Most trades that are part of the island. Uh, the welding shop, the forge shop, public works and maintenance, the paint shop. So that, that's a, a very unique thing here. And then, uh, Joyce, you were telling us about the... The story of the Indianapolis. Right. So this was The a, ship that carried the atomic bomb to Japan. Right, so the uh, battleship. The and, battleship, yes, it was. And this is now in. Um, the packaged components of the bomb here at Mare Island and repaired the ship and then it left from Hunter's Point for Japan. And this ship is in San Diego now? No, it was sunk. This was the ship that the Japanese sunk after they delivered the bomb. Ah. And so it's, they found uh, a couple of years ago, they found the wreckage of the Indianapolis. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, my U.S. This history is This is the one where the poor. sailors were in the water for several days and eaten by sharks. Ouch. And um, died of hypothermia and sharks. I imagine. And then over here in this other part of the pipe shop, yes. there's more parts of the museum right here where people can hold uh, private functions. Yes. Oh, we wait a minute. Have a and then wedding you reception in March in here. Um, and, and you talk, told they, me about these. They show um, how many volunteers we have. So, Joyce, you're one of the volunteers. Yes, we're all volunteers. This is amazing. So, um, this was part of the pipe shop that was creating. Creating pipes for the ships. Pipes for the ships that were being built here. Yes. Right. Um, they did new construction up until 1970. After that, they were doing um, overhaul, repair, refueling. Right. But no new construction past 1970. And the, and the, um, the dry docks are still being used, aren't they? Yes, there's a private dry dock company out there. Mare right. Island Dry Dock LLC uh -huh. has dry docks two and three. Number four is Lynn Marine. Uh -huh. okay. So three of the dry docks are in use. Fabulous. Well, this is really a terrific museum to come and dig into the history of Mare Island. Yes. Yeah, most people come in and say, uh, we didn't realize there was so much history here. Yep, me included. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so terrific. This is the women's section. One of the flags made at Mare Island was the Iwo Jima flag. Ah. It's at Quantico, Virginia now, but there's a picture of the Iwo Jima flag on the counter because that was made in the flag loft here at Mare Island. That's so great. So if you're looking for more history like this and more local information like this, please follow us on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, My Urban Home Team. Thank you, Joyce. Okay.